Hi, my name is Jay, and today I'm going to do a lesson called Strumming is Drumming. I've taught hundreds of people to play guitar through the years, and I always ask my students, I say, okay, can you tell me what the components of music are, right? And they, they'll usually come up with, you know, harmony, melody, and rhythm. And I ask them, I say, okay, so which one of those do you think is the most important? And in my mind, it really is a combination of all three, but the one that is sort of the deal breaker is rhythm. So a lot of students get frustrated when they're learning guitar because their rhythm isn't quite where it should be, you know, like their rhythm awareness. And so I've had to think about, okay, how do I teach strumming? You know, because they'll say, hey, Jay, show me how to strum. So I've come up with this this way of, of thinking about it. Rhythm is so important because what it is, it's an agreement between two people or however many people are in the band that we're all going to meet up at the same place in time, right? So the rhythm is going by like quarter notes, one, two, three, four, and we're dividing up time, right? And it's, so if we have these in, in equal segments, we should all be at the same place at some predefined point in time, measure 25, measure 72, right? That's how we work it. All right. So I'm going to break it down like this. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got a pick or if you're going to use your fingers or what kind of guitar you've got. I've, I've just chose my classical today because I just love to play this guitar. And I'm going to use my fingers because I, I don't even need to play a chord to practice rhythm. Right, so this is what I'm going to do. First, the quarter notes are going to be my downstrokes, just like this. Okay, just like this. One, two, three, four. So there's the quarter note. Now my thumb, when I come up, or you're just the upstroke with a pick, is going to be my eighth notes, like this. And I'm going to try and keep those things real static, which means I'm going to try and give them the same emphasis or force. Alright, so this is how you start, guys, like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just a 4-4 four, four bar. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accent certain things. So what I'm going to accent first is just the 1, like this. Now I'm going to go back to straight. Now I'm going to accent a different beat. So I'll accent the two. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now I'm going to accent the three. One, two. Now I'm going to accent the four. Now I'm going to accent more than one beat. I'm going to accent, well, let's accent the one and the three, like this. One, two, ah, yeah. one, two. So what I'm doing when I say accent, I'm just giving it a little bit more, something, something a little more on now I'm going to go straight again, and I'm going to accent 2 and 4. And this is the modern beat, right? The snare usually hits on 2 and 4, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, so far all I've done is accent... So far all I've done is accent the quarter note, the downstroke. Okay, you get into these cooler rhythms if you can accent the upstroke. So, like... Let me think about it. So, like, if I go, like, uh, so two and four. Now I'm going to accent some upstrokes. I don't, I'm not going to even think about it. So 
My hand is still going down and up. It's, it hasn't changed. I'm just accenting something. So I'm going to do that again. That's a triplet, by the way. So we go like this. Then you can get a little more complicated. You can start doing, you can change this. Once you get all that down, just by accenting those straight fours, right? You get all these complex rhythms. I was talking to my... Buddy Jordan, a little while ago, he's actually filming this thing. And I, I said, hey, do you know how to play in 7-8? And he, and he said, yeah, I think so. And, and so I showed him how I do it. So now here's how I do it with a guitar. I'll go like this. That isn't a true 7 8, it was more of a suggesting 7. I was still in a straight 4 4, but I was accenting those beats da 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 da, just like that. So, strumming is drumming. So, if you can listen to some music and you're just listening to your, you know, some songs through your earbuds or whatever, just don't even have a guitar with you, but just start tapping your leg. Right? And be aware of what's happening in the rhythm. Then take it real simple. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then when you want to get fancy, then you can do some other things like... It's not hard. You just got to do it. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.